So this is my credit score. It's a 770, it just went up. In May, it was a 765. Now it's up to 770 as of this July month. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, are you new here? Welcome, have a seat, let's sit down. Let's talk about some credit and how to get good credit, how to keep it high, sky high. Okay, so um, by the way, I think the credit score actually goes up to 850. Um, and that video that you just saw, that little picture that I just saw is, that you just saw is my current credit score, 770 as of July, 2022. And that is the reason why I'm doing this whole video too, so that we can have a high credit score together. Okay, say it with me, together. Because if I can have a good credit score, you can have a good credit score too. It's not like some kind of thing that's taboo, you know? We should talk about credit, we should talk about money because these things are important. They impact our lives and decision-making processes. Um, so yes, this is how to, do it, how to get a good credit score. And first I'm gonna go over um, the things that make up a credit score in the first place. There are uh, like four or five things that goes into a credit score. And um, the first thing would be the total number of accounts that you have. I only have two. Wait, let me check. Oh, I have four. <laughs> I have four accounts, but I only have two credit cards. Um, so that actually, uh, that actually impacts your credit score up to 10%. That is worth 10% of your, um, of your credit score. Okay. And so the reason why this is contributing to it is because creditors, they want to know how well you can keep up, how well you can handle a mix of different types of credit. Now, why does their business? I don't know. That's just how it is. Um, and then number two, the second thing that goes into your credit score is the length of your credit. So how long have you had credit? Um, I've had credit for four years now. I'm 27. Oh, there's a bird. It flew away. Um, so yes, and this length of credit that counts up to 15% of your credit score. So the first account that you have, the first line of credit that you open, that is going to set the pace for your length of credit. So treat that credit card good too, okay? <laughs> um, next would be the inquiries or inquiries, however you want to say it, tomato, tomato, potato, potato. So currently, the category I'm in for inquiries is exceptional. Um, and that's because I actually have not had any credit. I have not had any inquiries in the past 12 months. Okay, and this inquiry, that also counts up to 10% of your credit score. Also, um, this is just to see like the the credit seeking activity that's on your accounts. That's what this inquiry means. It's taking a look at how often you're trying to um, get this credit or loan or something like that. Um, again, I don't know why it's like this, but I don't know the activity on your account just to show So you don't overall, overall, you don't want to have the too much credit C 
seeking activity on your account also you don't want to have the too much of the credit seeking account in a short period of time that's the big thing that's something that they that's something that's like a red flag to them and i guess i can see why because i mean let's say you had a friend and that friend is going around asking everybody for money we probably already know somebody like this but they asking everybody for money and then they come to you and ask you for some money like hey man let me hold this let me hold this so i'm gonna get back to you but they going to everybody like why are you going to everybody is it because you can't pay them back so you're going to them to pay them back but what they don't give you enough so you're going to go somewhere else to pay them back and then you come to me you trying to get some money for me so you can pay somebody else too i don't want to be a part of that so i don't know maybe there's a better reason why that's just what i'm thinking off the top of my head okay the next thing that goes into your credit score is the utilization or the revolving utilization of your credit card and this number you definitely want to keep low but don't be discouraged don't think about it too much because i have a tip later on in the video that's going to help you to keep your utilization low um now this utilization counts for 30 percent of your credit score and this utilization is based upon the balance that you have and then your uh, total line of credit so that's how they put that together and then after that the highest percentage that makes up your credit score is missed payments missed payments are you missing your payments stop missing your payments <laughs> i know some some may need some help with some missed payments and that's completely normal that's completely natural um but missed payments counts for 35 percent of your credit score that's the highest percent that's the highest contributing factor to your credit score i don't know what to tell you <laughs> i don't know what to tell you you got to keep that low you got to keep that thing at zero or low okay um so yeah those are the things that go into the credit score now let's get into the things that i've done to have a high credit score okay put my phone on the charger <sighs> all right so some things that i've done to have and maintain a high credit score number one first thing i did was i went to my bank and i applied for a secured card a secured credit card okay so with this what you do is you actually take your own money i saved up 500 dollars. i think that was the minimum at the time and i put 500 dollars on that card i think you can also do like 200 or 250 um but yeah i started out with 500 put it on there and you use it like a regular credit card um i went to my bank and the bank man said pay on time and you're gonna be good so i paid on time and i was good i came out of there with a good credit score and i was like okay So yeah, that's that's one thing you can do. Go to your bank, get a secure credit card, put some money on it, use like a regular credit card and pay it on time. And um, another thing with that, even with the paying on time, um, one thing that I did, this is just me, I overly paid. So, I didn't just pay the minimum amount of what was due. Instead, I paid like 15 to 20% extra. So if I had like $10 due, I didn't pay $10. I put like 12, 14 on there.
something like that. Um, that's that. I think that is one thing that really helped me out, and it really helps you to lower that limit quicker too, because you know interest is adding on every day. Um, also, this is the tip that helps with your credit utilization. This next thing that I'm gonna say here, this next thing here is important. It's a big one. And it's called getting a credit increase, like a credit line increase, a limit increase, whatever the term may be. I don't know, it may be different. Credit line increase, credit limit increase. It's an increase in what you're allowed to spend. And when you have this increase, it makes your utilization go lower. Because once again, your utilization is based on your current balance and your total, your credit line. So if that goes up, then your utilization goes down. And for me, when I first received a, um, a, a um, credit line increase, I didn't understand it. I didn't know what it was at the time. So I was like, uh-uh, I thought they was trying to play me. I was like, they trying to give me some more money to trick me, to trick me into paying for more stuff so I can get in more debt. Is that what you're doing? I see you. I know what you're doing. But I mean, it's something <laughs> that actually is helpful. And so in order to do that, um, most of the times, it will happen automatically so you know the creditors there or your credit company they're always looking at you to see how you're doing with your credit card and if you're doing well they will automatically give you a credit line increase it's happened to me like three or four times <laughs> um and i did not have to ask but um say you are not automatically getting these credit increases you can call your credit card company and just ask for it, you know, and see what they say. The worst thing they can say is no, but they probably will give it to you because, you know, people like money. So that is the big thing. I think that's probably like the biggest tip in this whole video. If you didn't hear anything else, hear that, okay? So the other thing that I did was I continuously checked my bank account. I don't know how y'all feel about checking y'all's account, pulling up your phone, getting on that computer, and just taking a look. But for me, it does something in my brain. It does something in my mind. It makes me think, oh, hold on. I'm doing too much. I think I need to slow down a little bit. That number right there kind of scares me. So I'm gonna just leave my card at home or I'm gonna put my card somewhere else where, so it won't be the first thing I grab because that's just how I think that is just what helps me. Always looking at the balance that you're at and just slowing down a little bit, you know? <laughs> I always thought that I was a saver, <laughs> but I'm a spender. <laughs> um, yeah. So I check my credit card account and also my regular bank account too that's not tied to a credit card. Yes. And then the last thing that I would say is continuously doing um, research. Okay, maybe not continuously. There's only so much you can like look up. But I use Pinterest a lot. And I learned so much on Pinterest. Almost as much as I learned on YouTube. Okay, you can probably learn more on YouTube than Pinterest, but Pinterest is really helpful. I learned a lot. So I would suggest going on there and type up things um, that can get you thinking more about credit and the benefits of it and the myths um, and things like that because that can also really help you and how you think about credit too because how you think about money is important and it shapes what you do. It shapes what you do in your everyday life. Yes. So I hope that you have found some information in this video helpful to you. Um, yeah, I, I hope this was, was it helpful for you? Can you like let me know in the comments something 
and put a little something, something down there and be like, oh, I didn't know this. And for real, that is how that happened? Girl, yes, boy, yes. <laughs> um, so leave a comment, subscribe. I will be doing another video on credits. So stay tuned for that. All right. <laughs>